It wouldn't be STG in LA without a Starbucks. Hello one and all, and welcome to Seen Through Glass, and yes, welcome back to LA. Now, ever since I landed here in America, I've had a ton of messages from you guys saying, meet up with Shmi150, because Tim is also in America with his British car, a Ford GT. He's actually been here for a month or so, and funny enough, he sort of announced his trip about three months after mine, but for some reason, everyone seems to think I'm kind of following in his footsteps. But anyway, this is the beginning of my US leg and kind of the end of his. But he's just arrived in LA and today is Sunset GT, one of the most insane, super hyper mental car events of the entire American automotive year. And we're gonna roll into that event together. So yes, I'm off to find Shmi and his Ford GT. Tim, does it ever get less exciting unloading your car from a truck? No, it genuinely doesn't, especially as you've experienced going to new places. New places, new things. I mean, I know it's still the USA and I've had the car in the USA for three and a half weeks already, but it's been in New York, it's been in Miami, and now it's here in LA. Did you ever think at any point that you slash we would have our British cars? No. And, and I'm sure you've probably already said this. The first time that you've ever seen my car and the first time that I've ever seen your car is here in it's LA. in <laughs> LA. What is going on? Well, I haven't even seen it yet. You know what's awful? Ever since you did that Angry Birds like photo meme, oh, yeah, yeah. it's all I can see it's now of your car. Yeah. Well, this is blooming ludicrous. Forget the fact that these are two British cars in LA. That's a Ford GT. Whilst it might be Shmi 150s, Tim's, and I might have seen tons of pictures and videos of it on the internet, I've never seen it in real life, his car. And I've only seen a handful of Ford GTs in general on the road. So there's no getting past the fact that that is a very, very special car. Anyway, we're now on our way quite late to Sunset GT. Uh, Tim's car was a little bit late getting dropped off. So the event started about half an hour ago and we're gonna be there in seven minutes. So um, not too bad, but I am expecting some slightly manic crowds. There's quite a few YouTubers going today. Sunset GT in general is pretty intense when it comes to crowds. And I think when people see Shmi's car behind me, yeah, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. So I have no idea how filming this event is gonna go. I'm gonna give it my best shot, but for now, I'm just gonna enjoy cruising with these two cars here in California. This, this is a dream come true moment. Cool cars, friends, the other side of the world. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip and you fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Now what's quite hilarious is as we drive in, I think people are seeing the 911 and being like, ah, oh, that's a weird looking 911. And then they're seeing the 4 GT and it says, Shmay, Shmay, like endless people shouting at Tim. I'm like, oh, you know, hey, hey guys, YouTuber as well, got a, got a channel, subscribe. Oh, now even my parking sensors are going off because everyone's taking pictures of Tim's car. Oh my God, there's so many people. Oh my god, I'm so nervous, I don't know why. Mainly because I don't want to run over a child. Oh, there's Koenig's eggs, there's multiple Koenig's eggs. Oh, Matt Farah's here. Matt Farah of Smoking Tire Fame is here with his absolutely incredible safari. I, I want to check this That's out so car. much. I, yeah. That is so lovely. Yeah, man. Good I want to come you. and see yours though, I'm going to oh, come find you. Season. Nice That's to see you, man. What is this event? Oh, there's a dog. There's a really cute looking dog. Everyone's freaking out about right hand drive. It's a right hand drive. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and it giddy up. Hey, man. Hey, guys. How you doing? Can I take a selfie? Yeah, please. Let's do it. I've been watching you for literally a few Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Good man. Thank you very much. We're there. Good man. Talk me through this creation. Yeah, Matt, obviously, welcome back hello, to the channel. Hello, seen through glass. Seen through glass. Yeah, oh, again. nice to see you guys. I'm, I'm sure so you. sweaty. Yeah. I've been here since seven. I've had three cups of coffee. Oh my it's God, you're living your death, best life. It's death hot right now. I'm sorry. So forgive my disgusting sweatiness. No, come on. But, okay. Um, this is my daily driver. It's a 1987 uh, Carrera modified by uh, Lee Keen. Company's called the Keen Project in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. 
and they, they basically do the same thing with all, all the cars. Um, full skid plates, the bash bars, they tuck these, the, the big US bumpers in. Sure. You do the fog light pod, um, they shave the door mirrors and the mirrors I was gonna say, the here. mirror housing is yeah. awesome. It is, it's by far my least favorite part of the car. Okay, it's visually for, or? Uh, no, no, visually it's cool. It's meant for like, Rallying sure. through trees Air and, and trees and come look at this. You can't see <laughs> to LA, parallel, LA traffic and parallel park with that. It's a disaster. So I put those little round trucker shits sure. on here just yeah, to little make bicycle it work. ones. Basically. I'm all like Lee. Can't mine be like a desert rally vehicle with real mirrors? And he's like, No, this is how no, this is the aesthetic. Get so over then, it. You know, so then the interior. Yeah, this um, is this is what pretty much they do with all of them. Not the fabric, um, but in general, it's RS door car. Um, and they have either a comfort seat option, which is where they basically recover and restuff the stock seats, okay. leave it leave it power or whatever. Sure. And then this is a sport bucket. It's a GTS classic seat, but they they cover it in whatever. With the, the fabric, I, I I like a really aggressive interior. Yeah, the same. Mustang. And this doesn't happen in Porsche anymore these days. No, it's people take Porsches way too seriously, way I think. Too seriously, and so yeah. it's important to me. Like I didn't, I wanted something aggressive. I didn't know exactly what. When we found this, it was immediately like, oh, that's Done. it. Done. Yeah. I, well, originally, what I told Lee was, he goes, "What do you think of the interior?" And I go, "I'm thinking Trump Casino Hotel <laughs> carpet." This is my vibe. This, this is, is my mood I, board. I was like, right I now. want it to be offensively casino carpet. Okay. And he goes, "What about city bus?" I was like, "Yep, yep, done." Yeah. Well, look, so, congrats. And, but, this thing thanks, is just yeah. unbelievable. I recommend it. The yeah. Keen Project. Um, you can find more about it on the internet. Okay. Whatever. If you actually want one, I think there's a waiting list. But, okay. But I love it and I recommend it and thanks for watching. <laughs>
the amount of people running to take photos is just mad. Well, you can probably tell, it's a few hours later. The sun is now setting. We have just about recovered from the insanity that was, well, it wasn't even this morning, it was lunchtime, and it just, yeah, it really caught me off guard. We brought the two cars up to an incredible location above Los Angeles. Um, and it's given me an opportunity to not only look over Tim's car for the very first time, but also take him aside and learn more about his adventures, his trip in the US with this thing. So yeah, let's have a chat with Tim, Shmi 150. First, talk me around the car, because this is the first time I've got up close to it. I know lots of have our you, viewers may be familiar with it. Have you been up close to any new Ford GT? I've actually been in one, I'll have you know, oh, yeah, the you Goodwood have. Festival of Speed. I, I um, so, uh, so yes, so but obviously I, haven't, you know I know the backstory, we know all that stuff. I want to know your car, because it's, it's not completely stock anymore. No. And also, it's bespoke well, because all of your cars, let's face it, it's are. It's very OEM when we talk about it not being stock, Ooh, and that's what's so cool is. about it. There's okay. nothing that isn't OEM on the car. Even the BBS? Yeah, BBS make the original factory wheels. Ah, okay, okay well look, then GTLM. go for it. Okay, Nerd out, I know you cannot Paint wait. Paint colours. Yes. Paint colours. I like a connection, like you said, a specification that links back to something. In this case, red and gold, Allen Man Racing, 1960s GT40 race team. They had drivers like Jackie Stewart, Jackie Ickes, and Bruce McLaren. I'm a big McLaren fan. The fact that Bruce used to race in red and gold, really, really cool. They're based in Woking. They now run a heritage team which put out their cars at things like Goodwood Revival and different classic racing events. So I got in touch with Henry and Tom Mann, the sons of the late Alan Mann, um, and said I'd like to do this because they actually have a GT themselves. And I rather thought that they might take the red and gold. And if they did, I wasn't going to stand on their, tread on their toes. And um, they basically invited me to have some of the gold paint made up that they use for touching up the heritage race team. The liquid red, the main colour, is a newer paint, a deeper, more pearlescent metallic red, which you can probably see in this light, looks absolutely stunning with the kind of high bright bits and then the darker bits in the shadows. And I did originally think I would complement that with gold wheels. And this was a very big talking point because in my early renders, I decided I would take the standard Ford GT wheels as opposed to the carbon fiber option ones, and that I would do them gold. Um, and obviously if you get the carbon wheels, you're not gonna paint them gold because that's so stupid. You've got carbon fiber wheels. However, what eventually went on to happen is a company out here in the USA called InnoKinetic, who worked with BBS, commissioned 10 sets of these based on the BBS FIR wheel, which is the wheel that you have on the Ford GT LM race cars. They made 10 sets painted in Le Mans grey that you see here and they are as light as the carbon fibre ones. Well, uh, I'm going to stop you for two seconds because I actually wasn't listening to you. Am I being way too nervous? <laughs> well, no, I was actually just being amazed by the fact that this is you. I think people don't understand. You know, <laughs> this is you're never any different. You can just reel this stuff off no, in no, a no. one-take wonder about any car, including your own. So yeah. I actually, I actually zoned out a little bit. I, right. I love the fact that you're getting carried away and you're telling me. I don't care about it. No, I'm no, excited about it. Which is the best way to be about your own car. Um, but yes, let's let's keep it short and snappy because I'm always aware that we've had about 15 minutes of hypercars through LA. True. So let's yeah, Sorry, wheels. Guys. No, 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 no. I love it, but so that's why the wheels aren't gold. There we go. Okay. okay, what else do we have? The custom changes that were made that I was just saying were actually OEM. So officially from the Ford factory, you can't change that much about the interior. You've got kind of five pre-configured specifications. You can't really adapt them. Any difference um, in seats, or you get one no, seat one option? Seat type, one okay. equipment level. There are basically like five options you can choose: <laughs> paint color, stripe color, carbon wheels. Keeps it easy, I guess. Yeah, you can have the, the harness brackets on the on the bulkhead. Okay, the racing harnesses. And titanium lug nuts there and exhaust. I but knew you we didn't have more. the exhaust options because UK passed the homologation deadline for sports upgrade. Couldn't be done. Whatever. Couldn't Fine. have it. Okay. Um, inside then, I like things being bespoke as we talked about. And you'll notice initially it is pretty original. However, a few very small things. If I just come in here to show you, we have the steering wheel done. Which, by the way, the whole interior is actually made by a company in the UK. Hello. Yeah, ADP. Um, and basically, I got in touch with them as well as Sparker who make the seats and they went to Ford to seek approval for this as kind of a one-off to make this even more of a heritage tribute to the Allen Man Racing colours. So what we ended up doing was the stitch, the contrast stitch that you can see on the steering wheel, the gold of the shift paddles painted to match the exterior and also the stitch that you have around the seats and the uh, racing harnesses for the seats as well, which I kind of have tucked away because- No, fair enough, you're not gonna wear those every yeah. single day on the road trip, are you? <laughs> small details having like the gold GT logo. Those are the original paddles though, just painted gold. Uh, well, they're a second set as opposed to the ones that came on the car, but sure. they are like OEM. Okay, fine. Like, so all these changes, the stitching and the paddles done by the company that make it originally. The seat, 
done by the company that make it originally. Okay, lovely. So it's a bit of a one-off because oh, we, have we knew it was going to happen at some point. Oh, we're going to have to move cars, right? We'll, we'll, we'll be back in a second, people. Oh, is that going to make it? Oh, yes, it is. The reason I've asked you to stay in, Archie, do you mind shutting the engine off? I can shut the engine off. Is that going to upset you? No. It gets much quieter. That's the what fans I was, out here with the heat. That's what I was hoping. It's also a lovely, lovely shot here with the sunlight pouring in and things. But the reason bright. I wanted to get this shot is yeah. if no one's ever known how compact the yeah. interior cabin of a Ford GT is. Not only in terms so of I'm not height that for tall. you, I'm but like, in terms of passenger, yeah. leg room, Look everything about it. Is. Yes. And you're doing a road trip across America. I'm well, not doing it in the way you're doing it. Okay, so let's I'm jump not... back out and we'll have a little bit of chat about that because sure. yeah. <laughs> Because yeah, and I think it kind of makes sense when you look inside the car, and given the type of car it is, why our trips differ ever so slightly. But yeah, I mean, talk me through that. So where, where have you been so far? So I started in New York, okay, and maybe a bit, I think, about the trip. For me, it's a Ford GT. It's a very special car. It's not a daily car. It's not a practical car. I can't do like as many miles as I would like to do. That's not what my trip is about. My trip is about visiting certain locations, cities, racetracks, events, activities. Um, and being based out of different places rather than kind of hopping very quickly from one to the next. So I came into New York, had it driving through Times Square, went to visit a few collections, took it all the way down the East Coast via Philadelphia, North Carolina, Atlanta, had a track day at Road Atlanta, uh, and then had about 10 days in Miami, and then trucked all the way from Miami, 2,750 miles, here to LA, where it arrived this morning. Then from LA, it'll be up to Car Week, San Francisco, and then much more of a kind of stop off route back across the country where who knows, we might even cross paths again. Well, that's exactly it. I think a lot of my audience have been very hyped about yeah. us getting these two cars together, um, but we're actually here. going to be crossing and, over quite a lot. And like we said earlier, this the weirdest thing for me is I've never seen your car before. Yeah, well, this is ridiculous. We're both seeing each other's cars for the first time. <laughs> and, and we were also just kind of commenting that you've got Topaz skin, I've got Topaz PPF. It's kind of like a Topaz in, in America. Right Topaz now. abroad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. But yeah, I think it's incredible what you're doing. Two very different trips. Amazing that our trips overlap. Can we let the audience know that we, we have discussed this before. We did both know that we were doing this. We yes. were fully aware yeah. that these trips were happening. For sure. Uh, there was a coincidence I mean, with that, but we've kind of been planning where we might overlap for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I planned this as soon as I knew I was going to be able to get the American supercar I planned doing an American road trip with it um, and you know, I'd hoped maybe if I got an earlier car that would have been last summer and then obviously when you announced Drive the World I was like hey do you know I'm doing that this summer yeah it well? was like perfect yeah <laughs> so now here we are here we are so yeah absolutely it. incredible we got the two cars together so looking stunning I'm gonna say stunning above the uh, the LA skyline yeah, cool. you're camouflaged I can't see you yeah it's hidden in a bush but yeah that's because the uh, Nullarbor green hello oh is that what it's called yeah, yeah, yeah it's Nullarbor green no it's so not well. it's a uh, don't say it's a Rolls Royce green because we tweaked it. So, okay. <laughs> it's but tweaked, anyway, it's a tweaked STG green. There we go. Wow, it's LA sun for you. Um, well, anyway, it's been well for you. I think an incredible first day in LA. Oh yes. For me, just another ridiculous day in LA. All these. I mean, it's, you'll find out every day in LA is like this. There's just always yeah. stuff going on. Um, for me. There we go. But I hope you guys are happy that we've met up now on our various <laughs> US trips. We're going to be seeing more of each other definitely next week in Monterey, mm -hmm. but potentially, as you mentioned, across the US. And good luck, because yeah, I don't think I could do what you're doing in a Ford GT across America. It's sketchy enough driving my right-hand yeah. drive 911 at times in a Ford you know GT. What? I actually think the right-hand drive thing is a bigger challenge for you than mine people are also shocked by it they yeah, don't like, we just talked about do they, they look at you and they like, literally everyone no go, oh my god right hand drive like everyone go, right hand drive like, all <laughs> i hear they never notice the number plates it's right hand drive so yeah, yeah that's no one be notices new... the number plates yeah. i thought more people would spot funny looking plates for sure but anyway so that's going to be a new catchphrase for the u.s leg if you see me driving around just shout right hand drive really really loudly and i'll give you a wave so yeah give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure of course uh, to follow tim on all of his adventures in the u.s and further afield and make sure to subscribe to my channel for the rest of drive the world See the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bag.